Okay, so for the YouTube followers, um, we've got, so if you haven't already, subscribe, like the page, or like the YouTube channel, should I say, um, and then you'll get more updates on when these workouts are released, and we've also got some mobility stuff for you to do over the weekend as well. Okay, so remember to sub subscribe, and like the post as well. Okay, so workout today, Friday's workout, we've got for the strength, and it will all depend on what you've got, but we've got two options for you. So option one will be three sets of 10 Romanian deadlifts, okay? So three sets of 10 Romanian deadlifts. Um, yep, yeah. uh, or you've got kettlebell or dumbbell swings, and you've got 10 reps of those. But you've got it on an EMOM, so every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, you'll do 10 swings. You can either do single or double, double arm grip, depending on the weight of your kettlebell. Okay, and I'll go through this after I've explained the warm up. Um, then you've got your conditioning, so your cardio piece. You've got an EMOM for 20 minutes, we've got four stations. Okay, so five rounds. Your first minute, you've got 15 down and ups, 12, 9 or six, and we're looking for anywhere between 35 and 40 seconds of work here. Okay, on that first station. Now this one we're really, really pushing. Okay, and I'll go through the movement before we start. Um, I'll go through it afterward. So then you've got your 20 air squats, or 15, 10, four, or eight, sorry, and that's probably about 30, anywhere between 30 and 35 seconds work. Okay, really keep your form on this, and I'll, like I said, I'll go through it when we do the standards. Then you've got four and four, either kettlebell or dumbbell clean and jerks, and I'll go through those as well. That's four each side, so you do four on one side, four on the other. Start on your weaker side first, and then you've either got a 40 second plank, 30 second plank, or 20 second plank on that last fourth station. That's one round, you've got five of those to do. Uh, a, yeah, five. Okay. Yeah, cool. So we've got five rounds. And why I counted that up. So we've got five rounds, okay? <coughs> right. Warm up. Warm up's going to look like this. You've got, to start you off, you've got two rounds, five down ups, five crows, five air squats. And we'll go through those now. So you're down and ups, chest and thighs touch the floor. Down, and you're up, trying to keep your feet flat, stand at the top. There, or you can land a little bit up, up, push your hips through. All stand down, and stand back up. As long as we're fully stood up the top. Five, uh, five reps. Then you've got your um, crows. Really focusing on having that foot straight ahead of you. Knee stays out of the toe, and then push this leg back, keeping the shoulders level. Standing back up. So if you look at it from the front, the knee stays tracking the toe, and I'm pushing this hip back, keeping these shoulders so I'm not twisting. Stand up, squeezing my butt. Okay, then you've got your air squats, really grabbing the floor with your feet, and then touch squat and standing up. Arms up in front of you, stand through. Okay, five each rep, uh, each movement, sorry. So five, five reps each movement for two rounds. Pause if you need to now. Okay, cool. Going on to your second part of your warm up. You can do this with dumbbell or kettlebell. Okay, doesn't really matter. Single arm uh, Romanian deadlifts, single leg, single arm, single leg. Here, and same we did with the crow. Push that leg back, keep the knee tracking the toe. Keep your upper body nice and solid, chest is proud. Here, drop through. So chest stays nice and proud. Don't let it pull you, stay, and drive up. So that's five each side. Now, then you've got your goblet squat with a pause. So here, come down, you can do this with a kettlebell as well. Pause in the bottom position, open up your hips, drive up, take so down. Keeping tension here, I'm not relaxing, so there. I'm just making a bit of movement, open up my hips, driving up, five reps. Kettlebell, dumbbell, here, hinge of the hips, 
pop through five reps. So, just to clarify the rep range here, so we've got three deadlifts each side, four goblet squats with the pulls, and then five swings. Okay, so you crack on with that, guys. Pause if you need to. So, strength. Option one is if you've got a barbell, you've got weight, then it's three sets of 10 remaining deadlifts. So how do they look? I haven't got a barbell, so I'm just going to demo with a brush. But obviously, if you've got a kettlebell, now you can do it with that. But the most important thing is we're here, lats are locked in nice and tight, pushing the hips back, and then we're coming just below the knee with a nice neutral head, and then drawing those hips up and squeeze your butt at the top. So there, draw through, squeeze, there, pop through. Okay, neutral head. So we're not looking up, neutral head, armpits not locked in, and pushing your butt back as if you're gonna shut the door of a car. There, and draw through. Top end of the deadlift, really. If you haven't got a bar, you haven't got enough weight for that to be effective. Um, you've got your kettlebell swings. So, Russian swings, or if, if that kettlebell is too light, then you can do American, okay? What we're looking for, the idea, the stimulus for this strength is really building up that explosive power in the glutes and that hinge, the top end of that deadlift. While we can't use enough weight, we can certainly build up that top half, build up the form and build that explosive power, okay? So, Russian swings. I'm hinging at the hip, looks exactly like that Romanian deadlift. Oh. You come up, if it's too light, pop through. Just squeeze that butt at the top, pop through. Okay, put this back. So, one or the other guys, not both. So it's three sets of 10 with the barbell, if you've got a barbell, or an EMOM, so every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, 10 swings. If you're doing single arm, do 10 on one arm, Next minute, do 10 on the other. Okay, because all we're looking for is that explosive power. Yep. So, this is really good, guys. This takes about 15 seconds to do your swings. It gives you 45 seconds. Guys who are doing this, just give yourself 10 minutes, set a clock for 10 minutes, and do those three sets of 10 in that 10 minutes. So you're sort of in line with, with this, okay? Um, so that gives you a good two minutes rest in between sets at least. Okay. okay, cool. Pause, get ready for the conditioning. Okay, so you're conditioning guys. You've got an EMO for 20 minutes, yeah? You've got 15 down and ups. We did those in the warm up. All we're looking for is that chest and thighs touch the floor here. And then we can all push and stand up at the top. Or you can walk down and walk up. Okay, just make sure if you're walking down, walking up, alternate the legs, so you're not just working your strong leg all the time, which you will do um, once you get tired, okay? Air squats, so you got, that's the first minute. Like I say, it's gonna take you 35 to 40 seconds work, okay? Really wanna be pushing this station. This is where we get the heart rate up, and get, you, get the sweatiness going, okay? So then you've got your air squats, making sure your chest stays up, got good arch in your feet. Okay, so knees stay outside the toes, chest stays up. Okay, 20, 15, 10, or eight. This one, we're looking at 30 to 35 seconds work. Okay? Okay, so a bit more. Next station, third minute, is a bit more technical, so I'll go through that now. Got two. Two options, dumbbell or uh, kettlebell. Go through the dumbbell first. Dumbbell's a bit easier, okay? But what I want you to make sure is that that dumbbell stays in this position here, the hammer, what we call the hammer position, okay? So, 
that way. On the side, hinge at the hips, and then I drive my butt forward, touch my shoulder. Once I hit there, I can either press or jerk depending on my weight. Okay, if it's too light, then strip press it up. We'll give you plenty for that workout. Okay, so hinge at the hips, arms in nice and tight. I'm popping up, pressing through. What I'm not doing is just standing up straight and pulling with my biceps, okay? I'm hinging at the hips and pressing. Okay, don't just pull with your biceps. Use your hips to drive it up. Should feel weightless as it comes up into the clean. Kettlebell option. So, with the kettlebell, okay, whatever it is, kettlebell or dumbbell, you're going to do four on one side, then four on the other. Kettlebell option, again, it's the same movement with the hinge. The only difference with the kettlebell is we're doing a little corkscrew at the top to top, stop that kettlebell smashing you in the forearm. Okay, so I'll show you from this side. Um, pick it up safely. So, the key is here not to go and smash yourself in the shoulder, okay? Here, come underneath, driving up. So a little corkscrew here. So I'm meeting the kettlebell. There, and popping through. So, from the front, knuckles are facing away from me. Pop in, there, drive up. But there, a little slight pause, and dip. Press through, okay? Keep playing around with it guys, coming up here, dropping underneath. So knuckles are facing away, and then a little course around to catch that quarter dip, go into your press. Okay, final movement, you've got your plank. I say, find somewhere, somewhere soft to put your elbows on, and then we want to make sure those arms are straight on, feet out. Squeeze your butt, and my focus here is getting my belly button and pushing it into my spine. Really keeping this part. This is my part I'm thinking about here. So push my belly button into my in, into my spine. Get it out in a minute into my spine, and squeezing my butt really tight gives me a nice solid base to go from. If you've ever done D ball holds or D ball carries, uh, squats, um, tempo squats where we pause in the bottom. It's the same brace that we're doing through the system here. Um, and then what we're trying to do is trying to breathe through the diaphragm, so we've still got some hair here. We don't want to be holding the air here because it limits, limits us to oxygen, okay? So take a deep breath and push it in here and we can breathe through the diaphragm, still brace, still stay solid, um, and still get oxygen in and not be completely knackered by the time we come down come back to the down and ups, okay? So this should be a rest station, should be just getting us used to bracing, squeezing that belly button in, squeezing the butt nice and tight, feet together, okay? And then just keep it nice and solid. So I'm still bracing and I'm still talking at the same time and I can maintain that for that 40 seconds. Um, we increased the, the, the plank on the last round because we knew we didn't have to go into the down ups. Obviously, when you come to those, you finish the planks, you're not gonna have much time, you have enough time to get up uh, and get ready for your down ups, okay? But you've got 30, 35 seconds there for the, the air squats, so then you can grab your drink then uh, and you'll get these done. So I didn't put it up. You'll get the clean jerks done probably in about um, anywhere between 25 and 30 seconds, okay? Don't matter if it's over a little bit, make sure your form, your form is the most important thing. Um, if it's 35 seconds, you've still got plenty of time before you go into the plank. Um, and then your plank, like I say, you should get your breath back, ready to go hard on the down ups again. Okay guys, have some fun with that one. Um, and feel free to leave a comment. Cool. Enjoy.